Hi, this is Serge from thesis2.com and I continue my videos about WooCommerce integration into Thesis theme and with this video we're going to learn how to add a professional slider uh, to your shop page. I will be using Slider Pro from sliderpro.net plugin which is really great. It is responsive and it supports custom post types. It is the best slider plugin I ever seen for WordPress. So Guys, uh, what we're going to do is to add a slider here that will look through the recent products we have uh, or through one of the categories uh, of the or tags of the products so that uh, we display some featured products here on this shop page in the description. I have already installed Slider Pro plugin. I haven't touched anything in its configuration. I will just create a dynamic slider uh, to display my products and I will style it and place it here as a short code. So, uh, what we need to do, first of all, uh, when you install the Slider Pro uh, plugin, uh, go check your help page here under Slider Pro help. Uh, this is a best ever helped plugin, uh, helping page for a plugin. You have all the documentation inside it. So uh, you've got the clear instructions how to create dynamic slides for your uh, pages and how to insert them, in, uh, how to style them, and how to insert them into the uh, uh, pages of your website. So uh, here we go, guys. We have this slider installed. I'm gonna create a new slider. <coughs> I will call it uh, something like Featured Products. Products. Uh, then I go to the uh, uh, settings of this slider. So um, um, slide type here. So it is static. Uh, what we need is a post content. Uh, so, uh, we're going to select our products here, uh, then we're going to uh, select our uh, product tags, uh, testing tag. We're going to use a tag to uh, add products to featured uh, products. Uh, so, this testing tag will uh, represent a tag for the featured uh, products uh, that we're going to use in the slider. Uh, so, here you go, maximum 10. Uh, we're going to probably set it to 7. Okay, uh, then we need to uh, set the conditions for this slider. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to define the width of the slider. Uh, by checking. So this is 600 pixels here. So I set this slider to be uh, 600 pixels wide. Okay, and I make it responsive. Then I can choose the scales from here. So probably um, square oceanic. And I include the skin to uh, apply the styling for this slider. And you have a lot of options here that you may read about on uh, the slider helping page. Then we're going to uh, create the image uh, here. So we need the information from this page about the uh, dynamic slides because you have the short codes to paste in there so that uh, you may grab the information about the post. So here you go. dynamic slides section here and then this dynamic slides SP image uh, okay
Okay, so first of all, we're gonna uh, paste uh, the short code here so that the slider finds the uh, URL of the featured image for the product. I'm gonna use full size here. Then, as an alternative text for the image, we're gonna use the name of the product. Uh, so, or image art. Which is available here. And as a title, we're gonna use a uh, post title, which is here. Then uh, for the thumbnail, we're gonna use uh, a smaller image for the thumbnails. So we set the size to thumbnail. Uh, we do the same settings for the image art text. And we also do for the post title as an image title. Okay, uh, so we're pretty much done with the uh, images and thumbnails. So, then we're going to configure the link so that the image is linked to our product. And here we need to grab the SPLink shortcode of the slider and paste it here into the path. Uh, we're going to use post title as the title for the link. And the same. Uh, and we configure nothing for the thumbnail link so that uh, it works out of the box to show the uh, to switch the slider to the full image of the representing the uh, product. Then uh, the nice feature would be to have some description of the product in the slider. And I will show you how to do that. We're going to go to layers. So we add a new layer to our product. And here in the configuration, we could set the position. So, transition. Okay, uh, top left. Probably bottom left. Vertical 50, white, auto. It's auto. Style back. Uh, custom. Okay. So we apply this, we we'll click OK button after having configured, and now we're going to edit the content of this uh, layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some HTML there to display the uh, information about the product. So it would be a speed title. All this. So what we're going to display uh, will be the title of the uh, post and the excerpt of the uh, post with uh, probably read more link. Uh, just create the slider for the moment and we're going to see how this looks on the page. If we can preview the slider. So we're going to remove the timer animation here and probably the navigation buttons. Okay. So slide box timer animation.
Okay, so we have updated our slider. Then we're gonna go to edit products page here and add some more products to our uh, testing uh, tag here so that we have several products in the slider. Uh, we can do it easily by. Uh, okay. Uh, you can do it easily by uh, clicking the quick edit button. Uh, so you just select several products here and you start typing your tag. Uh, when you have a suggestion, just click on it and you hit the update button. So that we have already three. Uh, let us do uh, four products in there. Do we have any suggestion? Yes. Here you go. So, we just uh, update the slider once again. And we're going to preview our slider. So, here how it looks. <coughs> The images are probably too huge, that's why uh, we need to resize images before. Okay, so we have the images running. Uh, to move your layer uh, up and down, you, uh, you just access the layer settings here. Uh, it is quite easy because you have the options to put it uh, to the uh, corners first and then you need to adjust the offset. So here you go. We've got our slider. Uh, so uh, how to implement this slider? We're going to go to uh, sliders page here. Um, we need the slider ID because uh, actually we have the slider ID. You see it in the bottom. It is slider ID one. So in order to insert that slider into post, we're gonna use a short code provided by Slider Pro, which we can find on the help page. So here you go, the uh, slider pro ID, and you need to provide the number of it. Um, the best would be even to use this kind of short code because it is compatible for multi instances, uh, so there is no conflict uh, with the short codes on page. You just go to your dashboard. You should find the shop page on the pages list and you edit the content of that page. So let us just place the slider here and I set the ID to be 1. So I update the page and I just refresh the page here. To see how it looks on the front end. So here we go. This looks a bit weird on the front end. Uh, probably we need to change some uh, information so that it looks a bit better. Let's go to the slider. Uh, 
And now I'm going to edit the layer settings so it, it is full white. Okay, size and position, bottom left, horizontal, zero, vertical, zero, white, auto, head, auto. Apply. Okay, and I'm going to edit the content of this slider to set the uh, H4 tag, which will be a bit smaller. Like this. And when I refresh the page, the uh, layer will be moved to the bottom of the slider, which looks much better. If you wish to insert some uh, buttons here, it is still possible with the plugin options for the slider pro. And I think this looks great for our products. We're almost done. In the next videos, I'm going to show you a couple of more tricks to do about your web shop. And then uh, we're ready to go production mode and you are ready to uh, create your own products, uh, configure the products and start selling this stuff on your website. So guys, cheers. Follow me in the, in the next videos.